Yeah, yeah animal based diet or what I've seen or like carnivore diet and stuff. It's, it's just red, uh, just meat yeah. in general. So is it is it red meat or what, what types of meat is it and what can you add to it? Cool. So initially when I kind of started on this journey, I would say I was a little bit more keto focused, low carb focused. So kind of still eating lower fat um, meats, you know, quite a lot of fish and chicken and then getting into the kind of sh keto treat space. Mm. So eating a lot of like carb free desserts and things like that which is all processed crap mm -hmm. if we're honest um, and then as I kind of moved more into understanding what what carnival was initially carnival was just about eating meat so you're still going to operate in that low carb keto space because you're not taking any mm -hmm. in any carbohydrates and as I started following um, carnival MD a little bit and, and how he speaks about you know his initial carnival journey was to combat um, autoimmune diseases. So when you go completely carnivore and you're only eating red meat, uh, so he would eat uh, predominantly beef, grass-fed, organic, free-range um, beef, and then maybe a little bit of um, game and, and things like that. The reason they tend to stay away from things like fish is mm -hmm. because of how polluted the ocean is, yeah. so the high mercury okay. levels. And the reason you would stay away from chicken is because most chicken, it's very difficult unless you've got chickens on your own farm, to find grain-free uh, chicken. Most yeah. most chickens are, are fed grains and are kept in some and yeah and, and and kept in some kind of cage, so they're not mm. free to roam and eat worms and whatever. Um, so generally, it's beef and eggs, like your your predominant uh, focus. So if you're just eating that, you're not getting in any carbohydrates, which is great if you are if you have an autoimmune disease or if you're sedentary and you don't need carbs to, or if you're obese. Mm. But if you're an athlete and you're training, you need carbs. Yeah. So. I went through a couple of my amateur fights trying to be keto and running on no carbs and I thought I felt fine but if I look back at my weigh-in pictures now I definitely don't look as, as as strong and as good as I as I feel now at the time I felt like I was surviving quite you know quite well in in my sessions um but now I just feel like I'm on a different level completely mm. so following him in particular and how he's added fruit as carbohydrate so the theory is that fruit growing on trees being colorful um, having you know seeds that need to be spread, the fruit kind of wants you to eat it, so mm -hmm. it makes it easy, easily accessible. It's sweet, it's tasty. So the theory is that your veggies, especially your like cruciferous veggies like broccoli and spinach, things that grow in the ground, they've got a lot of um, chemicals that they emit to stop animals from eating them. They don't actually want to be eaten. So you can actually get quite. You might not realize it, but you can get quite sick eating. So a lot of a lot of people will complain about a lot of gas if they eat mm. broccoli, for example. The reality is that we live with this kind of baseline of aggravation in our bodies often, and we don't really know that it's because of the food we're eating. We just think it's normal to be farty or to mm. go through periods of constipation and diarrhea or whatever the case is. And so through studying this, I'm realizing that actually those things aren't normal. That's your body going, I don't like eating broccoli or I don't like eating spinach. So right now my diet is after playing with them, seeing like what, so as you start to take things out, you start to realize really what's aggravating you. Mm. And it might be slightly different for you as it is, as it is for me. But what really works for me is animal, animal protein. We do a little bit of chicken, but I kind of keep chicken more for when I'm cutting weight. Mm -hmm. um, so if I'm not cutting weight, then it's predominantly beef, some lamb, um, lots of eggs and lots of fruit for, for carbs. Um, I, barely eat veggies. Mm. Uh, I might do a little bit of spinach here and there if it's like in a soup or a broth or something. But I think the fighter diet of uh, chicken and broccoli yeah. is something I'm very, very happy to see the back of, to yeah. be honest. And fiber, what, what, so are you getting enough fiber from the fruits or? So you get plenty of fiber from the fruit, um, but you'd be surprised the theory that we have around how much fiber we actually need. Like things move very, very, so, there's a lot less waste mm -hmm. when your body wants everything that you're eating. Okay. And you'll notice this, especially like vegans. We'll talk about like how often they go to the toilet and like, like how much they need to eat and how much needs to come out. It's, I can't believe this is where we, what we're talking about on this podcast. But yeah, when, you're, when, when your body's taking in everything that you're, that you're putting in your body, there's actually not much that much that needs to come out and it comes out quite easily. So mm -hmm. you don't need a lot less fiber to move things along. Um, but fruit also has been here fiber in it. And uh, okay, last thing about this because I'm all the <laughs> way with um, protein. Protein wise, um, are you doing like two two, uh, two grams per pound or? Yeah, what? so I do about two k two k two 
grams per kg. Okay. So probably a little bit more because I don't actually weigh 60 kgs. But in my mind, I ride myself off 60 kilograms and I aim for minimum 120 mm-hmm. grams per day. Um, but I, I actually walk around at 58 kg. So I'm doing quite a, quite a lot more protein than, than that. Um, and it's really easy to get that amount of protein. Yeah. So when I have a couple of health coaching clients and often the feedback I get is like, oh, I struggle to eat so much protein. Like, can I have a protein shake? And my answer is cool. Like, if that's what you want because it's easy to put together um, or because it's an affordability issue, then by all means. But you can't think that just that because, places. yeah, that just because the macros are there, that it's going to be as good for you as eating a steak. Mm. Um, I'm actually, yeah, my I'm going to make t-shirts one day that say just eat a steak because to be honest, so much of our health problems can be solved by just sitting down and eating a good steak. 